Hey, what up, homies? It's your man, Coach Meadow. We coming to you live from our PS3. It is week 12 of season six of our UNT Dynasty. We're currently 9-0, sitting at number two in the country. Our quarterback, Vincent Galloway, leading the way for the Heisman, having a fantastic season. Our wide receiver, Sean Goss, currently leading the way for the Blitnikoff. He's also in the... Uh, in the race for a couple of other, other other awards that Galloway is ahead of him in, like the Maxwell, uh, the Walter Camp. I don't know why we're both behind Berg, but eh, it is what it is. Like I said, he's leading for the uh, Belitnikov. I assume Galloway. Uh, we're behind Branch, but ahead of Berg for the for the O'Brien. It, it, it's a little weird, but. Okay. Uh, I assume we've got we've got guys defensively. Let's go ahead and take a look. I, I was gonna, I was wasn't gonna pay much attention to it. I don't wait, like the way the game handles defense on this game. That's the <laughs> Remington because of the way that tackles are recorded. It kind of messes up how things go on this game. Like Brown is ahead of everybody. Not because, not so much because he's playing so great, but because of the way tackles are recorded on this game. Like, yo, EA, next game, figure it out, bro. Figure it out. Because, like, my guys always lead the country in tackles, which puts them, like, look at this, my entire secondary. I got two freshmen up there. And Jake. Marcel, he, he's not having the greatest season. Uh, he had a pick last game. Almost had a pick six, but I got a commentator cursed. That's neither here nor there, which I also don't like seeing that. I, I don't say that. Carter's an absolute goon. I just, where, where's uh, Carter McDougal and why is his name escaping me? It's escaping me right now. But uh, we have another uh, freshman strong safety. Those guys are just going to be ridiculous. But yeah, the game just it kind of messes up the defensive awards. But meh, you know, you live with what you yeah all right so we got tcu uh I scouted them a little bit their let's just put it like this their offense is a quarter a dual threat quarterback a left guard and a dream there there's nothing they threaten us with offensively we're gonna be in man we're gonna just get up in their face and test them all game like just remind them all game hey we're here deal with us defensively they've got speed especially in the front uh, outside they've got speed their corner uh, their safeties not very good but their their front you think that was six cool? I think they still run the four two five I think Gary Patterson is still the coach that's what they run so I expect them to be okay but our it's our offense is not the problem it, it's usually our defense that is, is giving up plays but I don't see where TCU makes plays that being said, the game is in Fort Worth. Herbie thinks we're going to win. That's smart of you, Herbie. They've got 13 prospects visiting them with us coming into town. I don't agree with that. Uh, you know, you, unless you want them to see a team that is, you know, what, what, a, what a team of our ilk looks and plays like. But I don't think you want to be on the receiving end. It's, it's essentially, they, they picked us for their homecoming. You don't do that. You don't do that. They're coming off back-to-back -back losses to Texas and K-State. Uh, mm, yeah. That's what that's what they look like. Of course, all dubs. Uh, offense has really picked up lately. And we've, we've started winning games by multiple scores. You can see we started the season off one score, one score, one score, one score. And then we hit our stride, and it's been just beatdowns ever since. We're still looking at these last two. But we can't look past TCU, which I literally just did. I like the word literally. Quarterback, they don't throw much. Uh, they, they seem to be a team that's going to live with running the ball. I don't even know if they run up tempo. Uh, running back, Clay, he's like a 76 overall. Running behind 70 overall rated linemen. Uh, we should, we, it should be a tough day for their offense. None of the receivers are even worth mentioning. I'll, I'll just be honest. Of course, that's not the case with our offense. Galloway, he's been, he's been a beast. 28 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Remember, 4 interceptions in the first game. So, yeah, we reeled, the, we reeled that back in. Uh, Orton, 
it's it he's better than his numbers which his numbers are pretty good but we we have all kinds of guys who run the balls so we have a we have a fullback uh mr Corey dykes obviously galloway is a run threat uh, mr collins hawkins occasionally goss runs the ball and goss is currently leading the country in yards uh, average in touchdowns. He, he doesn't lead. The, doesn't lead in, no, he doesn't lead in yards. He's we're trailing by four to. Oh man, I forget his name. Dude, I want to say I want to say uh, Georgia Southern receiver. I could be very, 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 very wrong. But uh, yeah, he's having a ridiculous season. Like I said, he's he's in the lead for the Belichick defensively. Uh, Pearson leads us in interceptions. Oliver up front, six sacks, and Brown, he's just all over the field. He's, he's big, he's athletic, he takes up a lot of space. TCU, Fort Worth, Texas. Here we come. He's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season starts. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. Texas, also called Cowtown, the site for this game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Okay, okay, okay. Ready. Caught with room to work, out of bounds at the 33. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. First foul. foul. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. That hurts. I hope. Hopefully we, he won't shed us immediately. And he's oh, good, good. The, 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 Collins. That's so like what I'm talking about, Collins. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Brain fart. Brain fart. Brain fart. Just farted. Just all out my brain. So the offense on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's on the run and he's gonna come That worked. The blitz was the call, but the accidentally was the one who made his way to the corner. But War Daddy gets in quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy got some uh some nice block shits at the beginning of the game. No good. Good, good, good. Oh, bro. Can we? Just, just get it out. Just get it out there. Okay. That very, that could have been picked off. If if that guy was better, that could have been a pick. All right, They're covering the A's and the B's. Not even giving me a read, guy. Hopefully, we don't lose up front. I didn't realize that was Collins. I would have brought in Mr. Dykes. Why were so tired this game? This time we're coming. I'm actually going to send Triplet off that edge. And make them deal. That's okay. Good tackle, Chris. Chris Carter is a beast. He is a beast. He isn't even good in man coverage. He's just so athletic. Uh, no way they hit the 56-yarder. Yeah, no good. He's missed two long field goals, and that's that's not good. Okay. I've got screen. Fires it out. He's mm. taken down the 39 yard line. Because I wanna I wanna call a corner strike. Ooh, middle field close. Could be man outside. You know, you know what we do to man, except I need I need you to do this quicker. It is man. I need to get this ball out. That's actually decent coverage too. Just to have the acceleration to catch up. How are they already on the on the on the uh on the strike? Could be man outside. You know you know what we do to man, except I need I need you to do this quicker. He got it in time. I couldn't move my guys closer. Alright. Oh, oh, that, that would have been six probably too, because Chris got, yo, Chris got burners, bro. Chris got burners. All right, he's over two already. If he misses a forty-three yarder, 
Five yard penalty against the offense. Oh, huh, that sucks. Okay, so if he misses a 48 yarder. Oh, wow. You know what? It, I've had those kind of days, and I do not care that they're having one right now. Excellent swing play has been very good for us. Could be cover three. If it's man, we'll go to Goss. But if it's cover three, we'll go to Jackson on the right. It's man. Can I? I split them, but not enough. I split them, but not enough. Flipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play. Oh, they are up on us now. Somebody win. Somebody just win. I'll find you. No win, no win, no win, but it's cover two. I don't like that they. I don't like when they play cover two. But I have to take advantage of it. I don't like how this game plays cover two. Those first couple of... I guess I can't be mad like we were there. Okay. Let's get out there. Okay. Curls. Yeah, we had, we had curl flats to both sides. So yeah, there was, there was no chance. Maybe next time they'll go with a post. I haven't run a slip screen. I haven't been really blitzing. And then as soon as I call it, they blitz. I got it off. I got the spin. I'm getting, I'm getting caught real fast. They've got the linebackers got speed, bro. I think they've got they've got two 88, 87. Good acceleration. That guy just pause. But that dude sucked me up, bro. Uh, the counter, they look like they have it defensed. So far, very, very good start. Very good start. Left this. Curls. I went for the schmeich. I wanted to give him, get him a little bike schmeich. Maybe create an incomplete pass. It didn't work out. My man's like, we had him lined up. Bro, this poor kicker. This one's 51. Is he going to be 0 for 4? 0 for 4. Damn. Yo, talk about a... All right, homies. Yo, it, it's halftime. You, this is going to be our new deal, yo. Like the vid. Comment. I'm not Hollywood. Share the vid. Sub if you're not sub. Uh I have no I have no uh adjustments. We're just gonna try to you know get a couple another couple scores and ice the game. TCU, unless we give it to them, they can't take it. That's what I'm that's what I'm surmising. That's what I thought going into the game. They just they don't have the horses. And the few horses they have, you know, we, we can I've got nothing for horse stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna play the second half and hopefully, yo, let's try to get us a shutout. Is that what we're playing for now? Shutout. That's what we're playing for. Let's go get one. The third down. Black five, black five, three, eight. Go. Okay. Just gotta make a tackle. Just ooh, solid tackle, McDougal. Was a well designed and solid on and and everybody on their on defense their is this close no you, you will not do that you will not get away with this can we just can we just give me give me half a second to see so I'm gonna throw it out to Goss I trust Goss to win he won he broke a tackle the I just trust Goss is gonna win. His receiving yardage totals all season have been off the charts. Ike's 275 pound bowling ball. We're gonna do it again. The only way we don't do it again is if you give us something outside. And I don't have my guys outside. So you're gonna get some more Corey Dykes. North Texas. Up by a Him big thick. They get in. Ow? Touchdown. Really? I did I, I did all that trash talking and you like 
The first contact you get in the end zone, my man's getting schmike, bro. On 26 yard line. Third down. Nope. Oh, I thought that was a. And he's down at the Sit down, Edmund Gray. I pity him. There's no, there are no wins out there for him. No consistent wins. Let's go. Let's not even do the fake. Just goss go. Not zone, but oh my. Wiggle sticks. Sparkling wiggles. to pick up the first down. We're gonna keep it simple on the right. We're either in, they're either in man or we're gonna take a shot. And he throws right away. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Ew. That looks, ew. Come on. Come on, Vincent Galloway. They're blitzing. I just forced it. I forced it. I didn't know if he won or not. I just forced it. It was dumb. It was dumb. This is just a meaningless interception. But if you're the offensive coordinator and especially the quarterback, I don't care how big the lead mm. is. You never. All right, we're gonna stay in this defense. Yeah, he didn't have enough time for the corner route to even. Kinda develop. That's what the tight end I was guarding was running. Running. So I guess I was China. All right. Oh no, that was Jake. What? I was running right at him. Wasn't holding L one. Didn't get juked. I just. Almost got close enough to make contact, and that's what happened. Dick. Damn it, I had a spy too. Lost our shutout because Jake. Should have put out a different spy out there. Mmm. The onside. We recovered it. All right, we're just gonna gonna hand the ball off to Collins and put this away. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Nothing can I just need two first downs. Maybe, maybe I don't even need one. On a of oh. That's what happened to this offense the last time. Oh, that's what 4-3 speed can do for you. Touchdown, Mean Green. Make it a triple dip, folks. Until they can figure out how to slow him down, it's going to be very tough for them to get back into this game. Man, speed. Speed, you know, speed is good. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score. North Texas, 42. TCU, 7. TCU, 7. For EA Sports. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. We lost our shutout right here. Right, yeah, right here. That, hmm. Hmm. But we did everything else right. Let me see. Defense held them to 269 total yards. 13 first downs. We put up 540. Pretty balanced. Uh, big passing plays. Not a lot of third down situations because we were either scoring or scoring for the most part. Had two turnovers. Both of them dumb decisions by me. Dumb, deci dumb decision to pitch. Dumb decision to throw that, that uh, stick. Dumb. But defense was awesome. They had 15 third down situations and only converted six. Threw the ball 30 times, only had 246 passing yards. Like we were just, didn't force any turnovers, but defense was playing really good, solid football. And it was as I predicted. <clears throat> they didn't have any wins. Like there were, there were no wins, none. Their offense was just kind of on the field. Uh, Vincent Galloway, another Heisman performance. Even with the intercept, even with the two turnovers, another really good game. 
uh, was solid on the ground as well. Joe Collins had the the had the you know the majority of the carries in this one, primarily because we were up so big, and it was just kind of like worked out that way. Love this guy, transfer. I mean not a transfer, a uh, JC guy. Uh, of course, Mr. Goss did his thing. Jackson, big play Jackson at this point. That's all he's got to do. Just take advantage of the fact that Goss gets so much attention. <clears throat> and Goss also performs. Like another touchdown, another 134 yards. Uh, I would imagine he's all but locked up the Belitnikov. It is what it is. Rough day for Mr. Gray. Sacked him nine times. I did not know we had that many sacks. He completed 85% of his passes. That's just the nature of the game, honestly. Because there weren't many passing windows. Like... You think you complete 85% of your passes, you're doing something, you're doing it right, but they weren't. There was nothing going on the ground. Except their offensive line was not very good. This, a big product of one play. I blame Jake. But overall, 42 to 7. Uh, you know, there's got to be coachable moments in there, so we're going to jump on Jake. He, he's, he's a senior, he's a big boy, he can handle it. Uh, everybody else, man, just got to improve these, these next two games, Oklahoma, Georgia Southern, should be a good game, it's going to be battle of uh, top cool? 10 opponents, both games, I think both of them are in the top 6, so we'll see, uh, we've been playing really, really well for a long stretch of games, and that worries me, because we're due for uh, a dud, but we'll just have to see man uh thank you for tuning in i will see you next episode and i have a, i think i have a little video it's gonna tell you what you should have did if you haven't already done it yet bro let's go man i want like i want like two billion Me. Shout out to Pride by Katana for most of the music I use in the vids. Be sure to follow on social media. I follow back. Links to all that info in the description. For more content, be sure to subscribe and click one of the links at the end of the video for more videos. Please continue to watch, like, share, and repeat. Thank you.